management, it goes really hand in hand with crisis management. And uh, first thing I want to show you guys is a graph I found on Google. And they had a comparison between Twitter, Dig, Flickr, and Delicious. And the way to read this is um, Twitter will be the baseline comparison. So say if Dig is 0 0.18, that's 18% of the Twitter searches um, that Google has. So as you can see, uh, Twitter is the blue line. And in the, within the last, since October, has been steadily increasing, and um, and it also corresponds with the news coverage. So, if you look over here, this is the bottom one right here is our news coverage, and as it goes up, Twitter searches Google people googling Twitter's is also going up as well. It started going up when we started to study it, right? Yeah. And um, also over here, the good thing about this graph is it has all these A, B, Cs and it correlates to whatever the news happened. And so you can see, say, you can look at C, and it's Twitter accounts hacked. And then all of a sudden, all of these, uh, they kind of go up a lot ever since that news um, event. And also, one thing I do want to note is, it seems to be dipping as soon as the news coverage went down. So that's something that uh, Jack Dorsey might have a, should look into, because that's, that's not a good sign. Um, there's three aspects to uh, re corporation uh, reputation management. It's uh, listening, which uh, Sasha has already covered, learning, and participating. And a great example of listening is Southwest Airlines. There was a blogger. He was traveling from New Hampshire to Philly, and South Southwest Airlines lost his bag, and then when they finally found his bag, it was soaking wet. So he got really frustrated because he needed, you know, his clothes the next day to go to a meeting. So he, he went on Twitter and he said, you know, Southwest equals suckage. <laughs> and, you know, he didn't think much of it. He just uh, was just mad. And when he woke up the next morning, there was a tweet back from uh, Southwest saying, you know, we're really sorry for what happened. Hope you give us another chance. And um, at the end, it says South. So you can see that Southwest is the equals awesome. <laughs> and it, it was just one example of a company as big as Southwest actually having a team of people uh, listening and um, scanning Twitters uh, to see if there's anything going on, people talking about their company in uh, any negative or even positive ways. And one of the ways they do that is they have this program called Tweet Scan, and you just go on it. You put in, say, for example, Southwest, you put in Southwest, and it'll come down a list of all of the discussions are being written about that company. And it, it's really important because these companies need to know how people feel about them in order to be able to do the other two things, which is learn about it and participate. So listening is key. And the second aspect is uh, learning. So. One of the things that um, Anne Marie was talking about, Cowcat, how the the blogger guy he, he called them and he complained and they didn't really care about it, but it actually took him effort to tweet what his concerns. Then Comcast actually got on it, you know, with their executive and made sure that they fixed his problem. And I think that at the time it was also correlated to that whole situation where someone went down to the tunnel and cut the fiber optic cable line. And I think that's what happened that day. So um, definitely, once you learn of a problem, you can improve on the services of your company. And, um, and the last is participating, which you, know, you can always, a lot of these companies, they participate just by putting up events. Um, you know, like, oh, we have a sale on our website, please come, or, you know, is, is a, we'll be at this convention, things like that. And that's one way to participate. But another way was an uh, example of H&R Block, which is Robert Scoble just happened to tweet that he was heading over to H&R Block one day to do his taxes. And one of the, the, the director of communications actually got on the phone, called Robert, and said, oh, hey, you know, we seen your tweet. You're coming over to do our taxes with us. And uh, you know, we hope you have a great time. Please call me back personally 
let me know how we went so uh, we can improve on anything or uh, things like that. So just things like that, it, you know, it's not a lot to call someone, but for someone like Robert, you know, that means a lot because once he goes and blogs about it, you know, he might have 10,000 people seeing that. And those, each of those 10,000 people only have to tell like five of their friends and you got potentially 50,000 uh, new customers for H&R Block.